get inside your car grab your trim tool remover and then start pulling out the a-pillars so for the a-pillar we have to start with this piece over here so this just comes out with a trim tool puller so i'll stick it in right here and start pulling at it you go forward just like that and just make sure all the tabs get loose so now you want to grab your Torx 20 and start opening up these three bolts right here. So now that you have those three bolts out, this A-pillar should just pop out very easily. Just like that. Now you want to do the same thing for the other side. So now you want to pull out your sun visors. So there's two Phillips screws right here. And then if you open this part up, there's two push tabs so you have to pull it out and then they open and then they open the space for two more screws so for these i just grab an exacto knife and then i went under like this and just like that it opens and then i open the space for the screw over there so once you pull the sun visor out there's going to be a cable connected to it so you just want to disconnect this cable so now the sun visor is out you want to do the same thing with the other side so now there should be a pull pin on each side that you just want to pull out so now that those tabs are out, you want to grab your trim tool and just slowly pull at this, just like that, it'll come out. And then there's just a cable over there you want to disconnect. And you want to do the same thing for the other side. So now you want to pull out the center piece over here, so just grab your trim tool again, put it in the gap, and then it just pops out, and just like that. And then you want to disconnect the cable over here and the same thing with the center lights you just pull at it and it just pops out just like that and then you want to disconnect that cable right here now that you have that out it's a phillips screw right there that you want to pull out now that you have that bolt out you want to do the grab handles so these are just tabs you just pull on like that and like that and there's two phillips screws you want to do as well so now for this side all you want to do is grab a little flathead in like that and then these pop out just like that now you want to remove that and that phillips screw so after you have that done you want to remove this window seal over here so you just pull out it like this and it just pops out and you want to pull out the whole thing so now you want to remove this so this one just simply pops out so if you pull at it just like that it pops out. And then you want to disconnect the cable right there. So now we have to go to the back of the car, pull up the rear seats, and remove the shoulders. So the rear seats should be pretty easy. You just pull up at it, and it just pops out. Just like that. You should hear it pop out. So all you want to do is pull up at the rear seat and then it will give way and you can just slip it right out. There's no bolts. So now you want to pull out the shoulder. So there's going to be a tab right up here. And if you pull up at this little plastic piece, just like that, the tab's going to come out. So you're going to be fine. And just let that rest like that a little bit. And then you just want to start pulling from the bottom, coming from the side over here, pull towards yourself. And then this just comes out. Just like this. So now you want to do the same thing for the other side. So now you want to remove these passenger door cards. So there's two T20 screws, one right there and one right there. You want to undo those first. So now that you have those two screws out, you want to get a flathead, go behind this weather strip like this and just start pulling at it. And then you'll hear the couple of the clips pop out. Just like that. And then you can slowly just start pulling this out. Just like that. And now that once you have it loose, you're gonna see a speaker cable that you just have to disconnect. Right here. 
So now that you have this side done, you want to go ahead and do the other side. So now you want to remove the B pillar. So there's two pushing tabs right here you want to remove. Now that you have those two tabs out, this should just slide out. Just pull towards the bottom of the car. Just like that. So now that you have that out, you want to go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. So now you want to remove the C pillar. So the first thing you have to do is pull this out with the trim tool. Next, you want to grab your Torx 20, undo that bolt. Now that it's unbolted, just pull at it like this. There's tabs in the front and then the back should just pull out. And then you just want to make sure that cable's out the way and then the whole thing just comes out so now you have to pull out the rear brake light so you just pull on it like this and it should just pop out it's held in by tabs They're extremely tight tabs but yeah it just comes out and then there's one more push pin right here so the last thing we have to do is pull out these coat hangers so you just press it on it like that it opens up and then there's one Phillips screw in there that you have to undo. So now that the screw is loose, you want to pull it from one side as the whole other side is for the mechanism. So you want to just make sure you always pull it towards the inside of the car. So now that that's done, you want to get all the edges of the headliner out the weather strips. So you just pull on it a little bit and just make sure it slips out the weather strip. So just like that. See that corner right there? You just want to make sure it's sitting over the weather strip. So after that's done the whole way around, you want to start removing your headrests. So it's really easy. You just put the chair back, you pull up at it, and then you hold this, and then you pull up at the headrest at the same time. It just pops out like this, because you want to make sure that there's enough room for you to pull out the headliner. So you want to remove the headrests. So now the whole headliner is loose. So what you want to do is grab it from the middle and then push towards the back of the car as there's two clips holding it in from the back side. So just like this. So the sides out. And now the whole headliner is out. But other than that guys, that's gonna be the end of this video. If you guys have any questions or any comments, just leave them down below. I'll be more than happy to answer. And also recently made a new Instagram page, so you guys can go ahead and follow that, as I do find it really cool connecting with you guys. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!